Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Jude, verses 20 and 21. Let us pray. Most, most righteous, heavenly, eternal Father, we come before you this morning giving you thanks in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for sparing our life yet again. Lord Jesus Christ, I can testify that it's so easy to become so, like, I was so acquainted with the fact that we, we have things in this life in so much that sometimes we forget that it is you that that is doing it. You are you are the one that is preserving us. And we do not want to become those who are become taken away with the cares of this life, or those ones who become un what is the word unwatchful? No, I don't think so. But the ones that do not watch are are or are not watchful, because as you have told us, the time is at hand, and the days we are presently in our days leading up to your return and as your word says you will come as a thief in the night upon those who weren't watchful but we who are children of the light should be watchful and attentive looking forward to your return and in being watchful we should be, be, be mindful of the life we are living here whilst we abide on this earth so I am praying for each and every person this morning, including myself, that we are watchful of the signs of the times, that we are not taken away with the, the, the waves, or the rushing waters of this life, that we keep our head above waters, that we are not drowned in all of these cares, that we are not la heavenly laden with those things that do not benefit us, those things that do not add to our eternal, to our, um, yeah, add to, to, to us, <laughs> to secure us in eternal salvation. And dear Lord, I just want to pray for forgiveness for each and every one of us, for all the times that we look to other things but you, for all the times that we forsake, have forsaken you in our decisions, in our choices. I want to pray for forgiveness and I want to pray that you help us to forgive those who have done wrong against us also. The test and trials of life, which I am going to ask you each and every day, as long as I remember, I'm going to ask you to help us, dear Lord. You have told us in your word that we are going to go through um, tribulation we are going to go through struggles we are going to go through suffering for your name's sake because this is just what it is so i just pray for help for each and every soul pray that our feet are sure dear lord no matter how the terrain looks make our feet sure on the rock that you are that we do not slip into the abyss but stand firm on you lord jesus christ help us to help and to raise up the youth also the children in the knowledge of who you are so that when they are of age they likewise shall stand firm in the faith of our lord and savior jesus christ until the end to the glory of god our heavenly father i pray amen all right so jude verses 20 and 21 says but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost keep yourselves in the love of god looking for the mercy of our lord jesus christ unto eternal life amen so the verse is just before right it was talking about the ones that are ungodly right and it went it, it, i think it started from verses 
about 15, isn't it? Right, it went in depth and said these are ungodly people who committed, have ungodly committed a, a hard speech, ungodly sinners have spoken against him. They are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own loss, and their mouth speaking great swelling words, have immense person in admiration because of an advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit, right? But we, we don't want to be accounted none of those things, right? First of all, anyone who is ungodly, can't please god it is it's just logical like it's just sense right you cannot please god being ungodly and even my prayer just now we we we, we can slip into ungodliness quite easy because of the infer well infirmities of our sins are as soon as we take our eyes off christ jesus in following him that we, are, we already start going down that slippery slope Right? Obviously, he's merciful, as the scripture tell, tells us here. But it's not for us to tempt God. Right? Because God cannot be tempted. Right? We're only doing ourselves the um, disservice there if, if we try to tempt God in living the life, trying to, to, to um, like, go on the edge of not seeing it. No, no. Let's go in the opposite direction. Let's not try... To see how much we can get away with and and then oh i slipped up now god forgive me kind of thing no if you genuinely slip up yes ask for forgiveness but we shouldn't be trying to to press his buttons per se right as it says here we should be building up ourselves on our, on our most holy faith why is it saying the most holy faith and not just faith obviously faith is faith regardless but i believe faith grows right the faith the more as the scripture says we if we have faith as a mustard seed right we should be able to command mountains to be lift up and cast into the sea and all of these miraculous things in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ but why did he say like a mustard seed a mustard seed doesn't remain a seed if it is planted in it? it it grows and it flourishes and it produce fruit does it produce fruit mustard well it must produce something right because you got mustard seeds from it right so again i believe faith should be <coughs> should be growing we, we should be in the position where our, our faith is growing more and more stronger and stronger right and if more stronger and stronger it's going it's going to be more holy because god is holy and perfect <laughs> So we should be building up ourselves on this. And it's a praying in the Holy Ghost. Why? Because as Christ told us when he, 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 he rose, he said he would send us the comforter. He's going to send us the Holy Spirit, the, 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 the promise, the seal that we are his. Right? We have direct communication to God, right? Through Christ Jesus. And though Christ is not here uh, presently, physically, face to face in front of us, we are his through his holy spirit right and as it says here keep yourselves in the love of god key word there keep yourselves in the love of god right that means is it, it is a it's a doing it's a doing thing and it is an action action word kind of thing keep yourself right we shouldn't be veering off veering here Right, there is things that we should be putting in place whilst we abide in this life based on the commandments of Christ Jesus, and this ought to be keeping us in the love of God, right? And as I say, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, which as I was just praying about being watchful, right? This is something that we don't want to forget. We don't want to forget that we are still fighting a spiritual battle, we're still have an enemy who is going out to steal, kill, and destroy, and deceive the whole world. We still are awaiting the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is coming back for a bride, a church, without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. 
these are things we want to try to keep in mind each and every day and i'm when i pray these things i pray for myself i may pray for every person that has a faith of our lord and savior jesus christ because at the end of the day we want to see each other in the eternal kingdom to come we can them them, them times we can relax properly right <laughs> because there will be no more sin or any such thing so i'm going to leave it at that this morning everyone any questions that you want to share you can drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org and as much as the lord has led me taught me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and God's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow.